Hello, good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to my fashion tutorial. And before I start back again, for the continuation of basic fashion design, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Gary Santos Advanced Fashion Designing Tutorials. And for those people who like, share, and subscribe already, thank you, thank you very much. Please share my videos and subscribe also, so at least we can reach more people, those people that really wanted to learn more about fashion designing. So this time, I'm going to share with you about the fashion tree and its definition, but I, as I have said earlier, that each and every designer has its own definition of fashion, taste, style, and comfortability. But of course, I'm going to mix what I have learned from the past and based on my own experience. All right, so fashion is a popular or the latest style, clothing, hair decoration, or behavior, a manner of doing something. Fashion taste means that someone has discovered what they look good in while also reflecting current fashion trends. It is not only about looking good but being comfortable of what you are wearing. Fashion style, a style is more about being yourself. So how the way you style, that is uh, speaking about more of yourself. And for me, it is a conquest between your mind and senses. And a style is a reflection of your own behavior. Fashion comfortability is a state of satisfaction indicating psychological and physical balance among the person. Alright? So, that's the fashion tree in fashion, which is fashion, fashion taste, fashion style, and fashion comfortability. Alright, so this time I'm going to share to you the fashion types and lines. Alright, the fashion types and lines very important this because if you are a designer you have to be versatile actually but of course you have to choose what kind of lines or types of fashion you are going to 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 take but definitely if you can take it all that is definitely a perfect one while the other is stay on like wedding dress designer, ready to wear designer, so we are different designers. But of course, to give you knowledge about the ties and lines, so here are my list. Of course, number one, there is the haute couture. So haute couture, expensive, fashionable clothes, or this is the high fashion, produced by leading fashion houses and designers. Haute couture is a French word, so which means high fashion, all right? So number two I have here is another pret a porta. This is a French word, pret a porta, which means ready to wear. All right. So ready to wear made for the general market uh, rather than to order. All right. Then another set of types of lines in fashion, which is the avant garde. Avant garde is also uh, a French word, which is this is the 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 fashion you know impalpable fashion like out of this world and avant-garde this is a new experimental ideas or new experimental methods in designing of course sportswear clothing for physical activities traditional such as kimono abaya handbook barong Filipiniana, that is a traditional clothing. We had a set of designers also in traditional clothing. Formal wear, like evening dresses, business suits, wedding dresses, business attire. So that's a for formal wear. And we had another set of designers also there. And accessories designers, items that contribute to clothing in one way very important this accessories because if you are a wedding dress designers hood couture designers and uh, beauty pageant designers accessories very important to give uh, more you know glamour beauty glitz and glamour beauty in the in the dresses that you are going to to wear and of course to the wearer you know accessories adds more 
to the volume of the designs. All right, then the next one is apparel. Apparel is a clothing line for men and women. Footwear. Hmm. No one think or knows about that if you are a footwear designer. Here in the Philippines, we had a footwear design is very popular like uh, Jojo Bragai. And watches and jewelry, it is included in the fashions. We had also watches and jewelry designers. Accessories that include precious metals, diamonds, and gemstones. Luggage. Luggage is also part of a, fa of a fashion. It is a type of fashion accessories that a fashion designer offers a line. Louis Vuitton, Versace, Armani, Chanel, Ferragamo. They had a lot of luggage uh, uh, designs in there. Cosmetics. Cosmetics considers as a component of the fashion industry, such as makeup, perfumes, and others. This is very important because if you are a designer, you had a photo shoots, you had a fashion shows, makeup is very important. All right? Costumes. This including cosplay, Halloween mascots, cultural, and theatrical costumes. We had another set of designers in there. And of course, vintage and secondhand. These are used items that are valued as a collectible and reuse. Some designers, they are patronizing secondhand made and produce it or sell it in their shops. Like me say, for example, I am a fashion designer and I don't want to produce on my own. I, I, I'm going to connect with other designers to produce for me but on my own name this is the vintage and second they use this term like this in the fashion and textiles the in a various material textures and prints these are parts of the types and lines if i don't like to open a shop on my own i can open a garment or specializing only in prints and fabrics e-commerce this is an online selling line so this is very important because if you want to put up your business in a website, if you want to put a business online, this is a very uh, good uh, platform. And one last thing, note, fashion is a brand and diverse industry that offers products consumed by everyone on the planet. Products include mass-marketed, fast-moving, traditional crafts, and reuse items. Yan ang mga fashion types. And lines oh and sorry rather all right so let's move to the 14 ways of how to become a fashion designer 14 steps so number one you have to develop your skills all right a successful fashion designers have a wide array of skills including drawing an eye for color and texture and ability to visualize concepts and mechanical skills involving in sewing and cutting all types of fabrics okay so in the develop developing your skills we have like a get into a fashion school or a dressmaking school or sewing school if you haven't learned yet Second, understand how fabrics move, drape, breath, or reach once it's worn. Number three, learn from existing designers, not just who they are, but their backgrounds and their signature styles. Number four, learn how to create a storyboard and products ranges. Be good in researching trends and inspirations from social media comparative shopping and trade shows all right so if you are an aspiring a uh, fashion designers all of these four steps in the developing your skills are very important all right so you have to be very resourceful okay number two in how to become a fashion designer is learn more all right if you can it make good to get a diploma or a degree in a fashion design schools all right number three decide which designing field you want to you may need to start at the bottom but you don't need to have some goals in mind as to the type of designing you want to undertake lifelong example haute couture 
all right but as i have said it is very important to a designer that he knows or he can study a different types of lines and fashion and let check me for example i'm checking my my capability in which field of fashion i am uh, appropriate like in haute couture in wedding dresses something like that so if you are an aspiring fashion designer you have to know your skills because fashion design is boundless no boundaries on this all right number four downsize your ego think about real needs prior to think about frame you don't design for yourself but you are designing for others all right ask the customers be realistic look around you what do real people need and want make concession mass market may not sound as glamour as evening wear or luxury wear concessions a thing that is granted especially in response to demands that concern a thing all right number seven get inspiration from your competitors all right starting from your competitors qualities is that copying it's observation analyzing and understand makes you a good designer example colors accessories fabrics and styles for example me i have to be updated on the fashion what is happening right now in the fashion so you have to understand the flow of the collections you have to understand the new fashion coming what are the trends especially in the five cities like tokyo in london in milan in paris and in new york later on i'm going to share with you all these uh, cities all right so number eight of that you have to plan some key pieces what is your absolute strength in designing a or first your skills and passion are very important all right number two matching to what market wants example pants blouse skirts all right number nine get educated about the business of fashion designers not only requires talent and creativity it also requires a sound of knowledge in the business and marketing aspects of the fashion world number 10 look for a job there are various ways to find work in the fashion industry as a designer and it depends on the type of designing you are interested okay note number one in some case being versatile will help you a great deal number two in most cases you will need to be persistent and apply to many different places to get your foot in the door of fashion example apply for internship in some fashion houses like me when i'm still uh, studying fashion designs i'm always looking or searching for a fashion house or a couture house here in the philippines observes watch how they what they are doing how they talk to the customer how they are how they they explain to the customer about the business and how also they 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 produce the the materials or how exactly they they make the 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 clothes in personal all right so number 11 if you are planning to running your own business be prepared to be financially astute Astute means having or showing an ability to accurately assess situation or people and turns this one's advantage. All right. Number 12, be realistic. You may need to be willing to move to much your market, but that depends on how your work and sales. All right. Number 13, assemble a portfolio of your work. Your design portfolio will be the vital when applying to design job. It is your chance to market yourself. Your portfolio should display your best work and highlights your skills and creativity. Alright, for example, hand-drawn sketches 
are how to computer draw designs, resume, mood or concept pages, color textile presentation, and of course, once that you reach the ladder of your success as a fashion designer, it is very important that you know that you share your knowledge, your skills, your creativity. What is, is it like now? What I am doing right now. So this is the the last uh, steps in the 14 steps how to become a fashion designer. So don't forget, give back once you fully achieve your goals. Help others in needs. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last part of the tutorial for today. And tomorrow, I will make another tutorial videos for this. Hope that you learn a lot from me this time. And we will continue back till to the actual making of fashion illustrations. So, just a bit of knowledge in, in basic fashion designs and how to become a fashion designer in the future. All right. So bye bye everyone. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and of course your comments is very important. Much appreciated. Love from the Philippines. Thank you so much and have a good day. Bye bye.